Hi, this is Chris Wagner. Welcome to Chris BI. Today, we're going to be reviewing Quill by Narrative Sciences. This is a custom visual that's actually a paid custom visual. You have to license it directly through Quill, so it's not the easiest thing to purchase, unfortunately, but I think some of you might find that it's worth the effort. All right, let's jump over to it. All right, so uh, if you're not familiar with Narrative Sciences and Quill, they produce this, some products that basically create um, uh, in real time, uh, anal or what do they call it, explanatory artificial intelligence that explains the information, the numbers uh, that are basically passing through it. So uh, it's going to basically in real time create either a paragraph or a story or bullet points based upon the information that it's seeing inside your your power bi dashboard now uh you know it's it's going to go in it's going to look at what's going on and it's going to tell you uh, highlight different trends call out low lights call out highlights that type of thing you know getting to that whole like but yeah but what does it mean type question uh, frankly, I've evaluated a number of these different tools over the last 20 years. None of the tools were worth spending uh, the an hour on, let alone, you know, uh, in, any investment of time on. I was asked to evaluate this tool, uh, I think now two years ago. I, 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 I said, no, I'm not going to waste my time on it. I was pestered. I was bothered uh, until finally I agreed. I said, okay, here's the deal. I will spend one hour Saturday morning from the point where I get up and have my cup of coffee until my wife gets up. I will look at this tool and I'm never going to touch it again. Well, uh, what ended up happening is I, I started playing with it. And uh, to quote a, a good friend of mine, it just worked. Just worked to the point where I ended up spending all day it was like six o'clock on saturday night or something like that that i got done it was just i was blown away at not just how it works how easy it works but how good it does at telling its story so uh i'm gonna put out some links down below to the quill site that you can go out there you can check out quill uh check out quill for power bi um uh, there are some links down below here on like how it works. You can look, they've got the same thing for Tableau, Q-Link, Power BI, uh, or Quilling, Q-Link, I don't know, whatever. Um, uh, and other tools, you can basically, you know, it's just an API that, that sits on the back end. So you can, um, uh, you know, use this inside your applications, you know, kind of however you want. Uh, this is an... This is actually a really great tool. At one point in time, this was free inside the service. I'm sorry to say. It's now something you're going to have to license uh, from Narrative Sciences. But holy cow, this is this is hands down, this is one of the best tools that I've ever seen. So let's kind of go over, and instead of just talking about it, let, let's go and take a look at this. So inside my Kratos BI Power BI desktop file that I've got, I've added in the... the um, uh, the Quill Custom Visual, and this is, you know, here's the Quill Custom Visual. It's right here, Narratives for Power BI. This works just like any other visual that you would add in for Power BI. If, you know, if I wanted to see what data I'm passing into it, I can just switch over to a table, and I'll see that this is all the data that I'm, I'm sending back. I'm not sending back any other data. It's just this is the information that, that's that, that's getting passed back to them, right? So control Z, so I go back to it. Um, so I can really ensure that I'm not sending any PII information or any personal information. Um, uh, but you just add this in like you would any other visual. Adding in, vi you know, adding in fields is super easy. You know, you could just go ahead and you can, uh, you know, just like you would any other measure, just click on it. And now that appears in, the narrative rewrites itself, okay? Now, right now I have this set up so that it's only gonna, it's gonna call out my highlights, like the highlights of anything that's going on inside the data set, as long as the, as well, or I'm sorry, as well as the three most relevant sets of data. So in this case, it's looking at uh, reseller, sales total product cost, sales amount, and unit price. Now, here's the big key. 
want you to watch it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try to do that tricky thing where I I zoom in on it. Okay, zoom in. Right, you can see the sales amount resellers. Okay, oh, I can't do it. Let me. So I'm gonna you know take a look at this. It's got 207,000. Right, so we can see all these numbers right here. Right across all 35 months, blah blah blah. Right. But now watch what happens when I click on something and like I select road bikes. All my visuals refilter and my narrative rewrites itself. In fact, not only does it rewrite itself, but it calls out that there's an increase over 25 consecutive months and it picks the date and chooses from and when it when it occurred. This is incredible. Right? So it's it's just going in and it's working like any other Power BI visual. This is very much akin to having an analyst in a box, right? It goes in and you saw the numbers I was pushing through. It was just dates and the, the, the values. It went through and it calculated and it figured out all of these different things. If you look on the back end, what it's actually doing, it's running all sorts of AI ML models that are, have been built out and pre-built and, you know, Kind of prepared for the data that, that's going to get passed back to it but it rewrites itself on the fly i can go over and click on mountain bikes here boom it's going to rewrite and and call out an increase over nine consecutive months what i mean this is crazy i can go click on united states it rewrites itself I, this time it doesn't highlight anything i don't have anything in here that that's being called out this is insane because this really tells me, you know what? Hey, things are going on in the United States across these metrics. Nothing's noteworthy. It's okay. Move on, right? Where I might want to look at road bikes, I see road bikes are moving up. Well, what if I hone in on road bikes and United States? Ooh, nothing's happening here. Look at how much time and energy this can save you as an analyst or someone inside your business when it comes to evaluating this data. I know you say this is, Chris, this is really cool, but it can't be that simple. What else do I have to do? What what do I have to do to configure this thing? Do I need a team of data scientists? Do I have to hire a bunch of people to come in and spend a few years on this? <laughs> you know we wouldn't be here if that was the case, right? So I'm going to blow this guy up so you can take a look at this. So if I go full screen on this, uh, I can go in and I can, uh, here's another thing. Uh, and this is a great fe new feature that they just added in. And it's that copy functionality. This just copied all of this into my clipboard. So I can, I can paste that into an email, send that out to people for review. This is just unbelievably awesome. But if I want to quick configure this, there's going to be two places that you generally go for configuring this visual. Generally it's speaking, I'm going to collapse this so you can see more. You go into the format. There's a few items that are available inside the formatting section here that I want to call out. So let me zoom in. Uh, so you have the, your type, which in my case is continuous. What structure do I want? Um, uh, I don't like that. What structure I do want? I can either do paragraphs or bullet lists. The type is continuous, but I might have a discrete values or a percent of the whole or even a scatter plot, right? It can go through and it can evaluate all, all of these types of things. Verbosity is a huge feature in here. How much text do I want to come back? Uh, I'm gonna call this out. This is the one place where I can consistently get it to error out. Let's give her a shot. Ha ha ha. <laughs> Let's go medium. All right, it had a medium amount of story. It wasn't, there wasn't enough going on in there to really churn out a, a high narrative. So, and unfortunately errors out or can't produce it. I don't know, uh, Q-Link if you're watching, what the heck. Uh, but this is insanely cool. So real easy to go in and make these adjustments. I mean, l you know, look at some of the stuff. Uh, look, look at this. I'm, I'm blown, I'm blown away by this. Check this out. This is, this is insane. Let me zoom in on this. All right. Significant. There's a significant positive peak between Thursday, November 11th and Thursday, April 11th, 2013. That's insane. I didn't write significant positive peak in here. That's, that's crazy. That's crazy. Crazy. Um, I can go in. 
back to how you how you get this up and running. I can go make uh, adjustments here in the format tab. I can also go into through this little co cog here. I can go in and I can start to tell uh, the API you know some additional information about the metrics that are going in. I can define you know you know my from and to so that it's you know it has a good sense of what where time is. I can go in and I talk about order quantity. Yeah, it's a number. Uh, larger values are good. Um, should numbers be added? Yes. But I can run through and I can identify all these things, right? Sales amounts of money. Larger values are good. Discount amount. Aha. Uh -huh. Discount amount. This is a big one. This is money, but larger numbers in this case are bad. We don't want to be giving people discounts. That Discounts are bad, right? Uh, so we want to call that guy out, right? Um, we want to go in and we could continue to run through each one of these resale unit price. So money, good. You know, I can just continue to run through this. I can fill this out. Language, this is super cool. So two big things to, to hone in on. Number one, it's going to talk about the number of drill drowns, right? So it's going to default to three, which is it's going to sh show you a summary of the three top things that it finds inside the metrics that you're passing back. You can change this to one. You can, you know, uh, I think you can, I don't know, you can go yeah, kind of up as high as you want, I see. Um, well, we're going to leave it at three. Uh, but here's the big other thing that I r is, is really great is by telling it what types of singular or pearl your, your your breakout is like think of product or products right year or years month or months it makes these narratives much more easier for people to read understand what's going on uh, it, it's just insanely cool relationships can talk about you know uh, you know you can have different portions actual benchmark i don't know exactly all that stuff talk to quill about that um analytics again this is really for you data scientists out there or citizen data scientists talking about what what thresholds thresholds you want to put in place in here to make something relevant or not. So if you're looking at something that's much more scientific or technical in terms and you have a specific uh, model preferences you want to know about before you highlight something, you can go in here and you can control those things. So uh, this, <laughs> if you're not a data scientist and you just want to use the tool, don't forget this tab. This is going to have the basic information in there that, that you're going to be using. Um, and then the final one is, what do you want to display? Do you want to display good changes? How do you want to display good or bad changes, right? So I have this guy configured to bold and put to green anything that, that's good that's happening. And I have bad changes set to bold and red. Now, I'm going to call out some psychology here. Uh, red would be your classic thing to call out something bad. But if you want to talk about something that is uh, more positive and embracing, uh, scientists have, have kind of done some studies that we respond correspondingly more negative to red uh, text than we should. So if I turn this to purple, I'm going to ensure that people, when pe or the analysts or people who are using my reports, consuming it, see something that's that's negative. They're going to see it. They're going to recognize that it's a negative value because it's not green. It's going to be purple. But they're not going to overreact to that situation. Or they're hopefully not going to overreact. Statistically speaking, there's, there's science. Um, this should be better for them. But uh, straight up. Uh, this is the quill report. This is the, 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 you know, I've got it set up with bullet points here. The best way I found to use this is by giving users the ability to go in and interact with the data that's in here by selecting, you know, and control, you know, different controls around it. You can also do this as a pop-up. That works out really, really well if you've got some custom visuals. Um, I, I don't have this configured here, but let's say you have a grid on uh let me let's say you've got this you've got this grid here it would it can work really well to have a custom visual pop up where uh, the scorecard that pops up is the narrative sciences visual and you know potentially has more than just the metrics that are here so let's say you're looking at uh your customers you could go in and see 
a as you look at each one, you could see a narrative on each of your of each of your customers as you're looking at it. Straight up, this this is monkey crazy madness uh, type stuff here. This, it, you know, reach out to Quill. F frankly, I, I continue to be blown away by this thing. Right. Uh, thank you guys very much for watching this. I really do recommend reaching out to Quill and, or Narrative Sciences talking about this Quill software. This is, as I said, monkey crazy balls insane when it comes to functionality and, and analytics. You really get people into understanding the story of what's going on inside their environment versus having to look at numbers and try to understand what they're doing, missing outliers, missing trend lines, missing peaks. This allows them to just immediately go to it and focus in on it. Straight up coolest tool I've ever seen. Uh, I think I forgot to say this to start a video. If you like this stuff, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on that alarm bell so that you get notifications anytime, uh, and anytime you you know I, I post a video. Now, you might think this is a commercial for Quill and Narrative Science, and maybe it is, but it's also a good thing for you to use, so do try it out. I'm currently not paid by Narrative. Uh, narrative, you know, hit me up. Uh, I'll take, <laughs> uh, we gotta talk about that. I'm not paid, I'm not paid shield by Narrative. Um, so if you, but if you like my content, you want to see me keep doing this stuff, go out, buy me a coffee out on CareerSBI.com. I'll send you some of these like magical, I love Power BI stickers. I got the new one that I, this is the one I like the most. And, uh, it's actually not receiving as much love as I thought it would, but it's, I love Power BI, but, uh, we'll see. Um, if you want to buy any of the merch that uh, I've got on my site, I got links down below. So you want to like get in on any of this stuff, you, you know, you're more than welcome to. Thank you guys very much. I hope you're staying safe. Peace.